guys how are y'all um so like i said i just wanted to do like a little vlog um just like talk to you this dog is like laying on my arm he's complicating my life right now <sighs> ava what are you doing have a kiss have a kiss no he's dead oh uh, anyways um Mila, you're getting in front of the camera. <laughs> what are you doing? You're so cute. I love you. Anyhow, um, okay. Maybe we'll just move, babe. Move the way. Move. Viva, move. Get up. Get up. Get up. Okay, whatever. He wants to be in the video. Um, uh, so, this is like already a minute is going by and you're just, whatever. Um, what was I going to say? Um, okay, so, ow. I'm doing the HCG drops. I'm sure you've heard a lot about. Um, yeah, I'll try to show you the ones I have, but it was complicating things. Oh, it's these right here. It's biomazing. I don't biomazing. HCG full potency dot drops. And yeah. So I had started them and then I got that pleurisy I told you guys about in my other video. And I actually had to stop because you can't mix it with medications and stuff like that. Um. So I'm back on it again and it really does make you like not hungry. Like it's such a good appetite suppressant because like you know you can only eat 500 calories a day. You don't get to eat and honestly I'm not even hungry. Like so you're supposed to eat like two fruits a day and I normally do mine for my break at work which is like 1030. And then after dinner I'll do my other one. And I have not one time ate my dinner snack afterwards because I'm not hungry I'm really not even that hungry to even eat all of my dinner I don't know I mean that is <laughs> and I'm someone that's always hungry like ask any of my friends I'm hungry so that's like my biggest problem and I can just eat and eat and eat and just you know I'm always hungry and I, like now I'm just not even food's the last thing I think about because I'm just I don't want it I don't really feel like I need it so for anything I mean it's good for that um I've only been back on it for not even a week yet, so I can't tell you. I did lose like four pounds from Thursday to Saturday. Um, GW came back into town though, which is another story, and we went out to eat a lot, and I was just spending time with him and not following my diet. Um, we went to the Longhorn Steakhouse, which I don't know if that's like everywhere. Um, but I still only lost, I still lost 0.4 pounds, and we ate bread, appetizer, steak, mashed potatoes, like you name it, we ate it. So, I'm surprised that, um, yeah, but anyways, so to GW, he was working with me at my job, the office-y kind of job, like, you know, obviously you can't get into a specific job, what I work, you just can't do that, um, but now he's actually working for, uh, kind of like on a gas rig, and he is out of town a lot, like, I only get to see him on weekends, and sometimes it'll be like three weeks before he comes back. Um, or longer it really just depends on when they're done and they may go to another rig after that so when he came in this weekend all I thought about was him um, I'm still living at my dad's he's at his parents so you know, I was just worried about spending time with him I didn't want to like count my food and worry about that having to come home and cook it and so we just didn't care um, so yeah um, he makes really good money though so good news is we'll be able to move out pretty quick which is great because you guys know that I was super depressed about having to move in with my dad and I am grateful I can live here um but it's just you know I'm 21 years old me and my boyfriend have been together for four years this year we need our own place um so yeah super excited for that um I'll basically be like my place because he'll never be there that could be a good or a bad thing um, also, Hunger Games. Um, wanted to talk about that. It's coming out this Friday, a couple days. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be huge. Like, you know, Twilight was huge, but I think this is going to be huge because I think it's for 
a like more like a wider range of audiences. You know, Twilight is more, for the most part, I mean, it's centered around a love story um, between Bella and Edward. And this, um, I mean, it doesn't start out like that. You know, it starts out with survival and the capital, how they are, and going over that and things like that. I mean, it does eventually turn into like this twisted love story, but. Um, just not all it's about. Like, the main focus is, you know, the capital and what goes on. And it's just, I am in love with it. I'm so excited. I'm in the, like, halfway through the second book right now. And it just got, like, super good. I'm not going to do any spoilers. Don't worry. But I did not see this coming. What just happened was the last thing that I pictured happening. And if you guys read the book, then you probably know what I'm talking about. What are you doing? Bebo, move. He wants to sit right in front of the camera. Ugh. Okay, um, but yeah, and really, it took me a while to read the first book, like, I read it, and normally I am that kind of sappy, like, love story book person, and, you know, it didn't really start like that, and the style of writing was different than I'm used to, I really couldn't, I mean, I was kind of into it, but I read, like, the first 80 to 100 pages, and then didn't pick it up for, like, a month, and then once I picked it up again, though, it couldn't stop, so... I don't know why I did that. I'm kind of like that with all books. I'm trying to get in the habit of reading. I mean, obviously, it's a good habit. Um, I did buy a Kindle Touch, the $99 one, and I'm in freaking love with it. I That's what I'm reading the second book on right now. I am also bought a couple more books, and yeah, I'm just I'm loving that. Um, I think that that's pretty much all that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I feel kind of lost. Like, yeah, GW, Kindle, Hunger Games. Me. Yeah. I'm telling you, though, that boy better, like, be putting a ring on my finger pretty soon. Like, I know I have this one, which is my promise ring. I've had this since our second Valentine's Day. Maybe first. I have no idea. Mm -mm. The first was when we were in school. I had this in school. Okay, so it had to be our first Valentine's Day. So I've had this forever. It's gorgeous. It's from Kay. Um, I believe it's one fourth carat white gold. Um, so yeah, and I already have. I've had my engagement ring picked out forever. I think girls do that. Um, so I'm like, boy, you, you better buy me one. Um, I'm just kidding. Like, calm down. Um, yeah, that's all I had to talk about. Um, are you saying, um, that's probably really, um, annoying. Okay. Um, oh my god. I didn't even mean to say that. Okay, so I, that's all I have to talk about, you guys. And, um, yeah. Oh! And since, um... My little hub I've got a good job now. I'm gonna be hopefully getting a new camera and laptop. I told him I was like, that's what I really want. Like, I want a new camera and I want a laptop. I want a Mac and I want I don't know what kind of camera, so I can you know film videos and edit because I think it's I don't know if it's my camera or my computer that won't let me edit. I've had two two different types of cameras that I've used and none of them work in my like I or Movie Maker. So I'm kind of over it. Um. Yeah, so hopefully, like, I know I've said that before, but hopefully, really, I'll get to. Okay, I'm, like, babbling now, but I guess that's kind of what you do in a vlog. Check it now. Okay, that's it, guys. Bye. Talk to you later.